Hello and welcome to Cargo Creations. If you're a first time viewer, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Uh, it'll keep you up to date on everything that's going on here at uh, Magic Kingdom in Lego. Um, today's video is gonna be uh, really an overview of everything that's going on in the park here. Um, I really wanna talk about though the um, uh, photo pass opportunity. Uh, I've been getting a lot of comments and uh, questions about uh, the process. I will put the information up at the end of the video here, but it's simply, if you guys would like your custom minifigures or any minifigures that you have to be um, in a picture in the park here, um, photo pass style, um, to attractions or locations, it doesn't really matter. It could be in the hotels, it could be on a ride, uh, it could be down Main Street, next to a parade, whatever, anything that I have, I will take pictures of it, uh, of them, and send them to you. And then the only thing that I ask is that I can keep the, the minifigures here in the park to populate the park, and they will be in all the, you know, in videos uh, to come. So um, I, I really enjoy doing that. I've had a lot of um, comments, and a lot of people are very happy with the, uh, the pictures that I've sent them. So if you'd like to do that, I will put the information at the end of the video here and uh, you guys can send them. It's simply you send them to my PO box. I will get them, take pictures. I try to do it as fast as I can, and um, I will get those pictures to you. So today's video, though, we're going to take a look around the park here, tell you some things that we are planning to do. Um, we do have uh, some, some custom builds. If you haven't been to the channel, um, I do uh, use sets from Lego. And if they are similar to, to rides or attractions, I modify them um, to, to look like attractions and locations in the park, or I just build mocks myself that I haven't seen that I can, that, that I need, like, the, like for instance, the monorail, that's my own uh, build and creation. I've got monorail red and uh, monorail blue. I do have the Contemporary Hotel. Obviously, it's an A-frame building. I've got only half of the building because I wanted to showcase the inside. I've got Mary Blair's um, mosaic in there. I've just recently finished the doors to the hotel rooms, put a lot of artwork in there. Uh, the next process here, I do have um, Chef Mickey's, but behind there, I wanna put the, um, the, the area the, the walkway area that uh, you generally look out at uh, Seven Seas Lagoon there. I've got one area there, um, almost like a lobby area. And so I've got uh, four more sections to do. If I come around on the other side of the Mary Blair Mosaic, I do have the um, security station there. Shout out to those guys down there at the park. Um, I've got the um, security that goes up to the monorail itself. Um, and I have the, um, the store, uh, the, um, the uh, souvenir shop there and that's in the uh, contemporary. And so I made it so you could see that side. The next process in this build, we are gonna add um, lighting to it. We've already started lighting the resort area. We have the complete path around the Seven Seas Lagoon lit up. Um, uh, some of the some of the lights were furnished by uh, Light My Bricks. I really appreciate them um, donating lights to the project. I think we're going to be working with them in the future a little bit too. Um, but um, it's really turned out good. I will put some um, video of the of the park lit at the at the end of the video here too to uh, showcase that for you guys as well. Um, another area that we're working on here is right here. This is going to be the area where the Polynesian is building the new uh, DVC tower. So that's gonna be one of the, the builds we uh, uh, work on as well. Um, now let's take you around um, to some of the closer detail. A lot of times people want me to show a little more uh, detail, closer uh, shots of the park. These are the Polynesian bungalows there, the DVC bungalows. And those are custom builds as well. And we also have the pool at the Polynesian there with the volcano and the slide. And if we come around, uh, we'll go around this way again. We look at the, uh, the wedding pavilion. 
Let's get a little closer to that. There's the wedding pavilion there. Off of the beach next to the Grand Floridian. Now, one of the another uh, project that I'm working on, I've got a bunch of these translucent. This is about half the, the amount that I have. Um, I'm gonna be working at, uh, over here at the Pirates of the Caribbean, at working on getting these down um, in the water there. I've got a few placed already around here. Um, and you can see with when I when I do some of the lighting video, I want to show you guys uh, that you see the um, where the cannons shoot into the water there. Those are lit up, and um, there's fire uh, around in the uh, village there, and so those light up and twinkle, and so and so does the end end stage there, looking at Jack Sparrow with all the um, the gold and. Uh, jewels at the end so that's going to be one of the next projects as well is placing all of these down onto the water i've already done that over at the seven seas lagoon and trust me it is a long tedious process that whole area there is covered with uh, one by two translucent blue um, plate pieces or, or tile pieces i should say and so I think it just really makes the water really pop there. It's a finished look as well. So I want to do that around um, not only the Pirates of the Caribbean, but then up near uh, Tom Sawyer's Island there, which I'll show you in just a little bit. I'm going to get around in there to, to show you next to, um, I want to show you uh, Splash, formerly Splash Mountain, now Tiana's Bayou Adventure. I'm also going to show you some of the water feature in that as well that I'm going to be putting those um, tiles on as well. So. As we uh, look around here in the front of the park here, I still have the 100 year uh, anniversary sign up in front there. That's really just a little custom build that I made. And then we've got a parade going on down Main Street here. We get some closer views here. There is the new Snow White float that I made. I made that with some of the pieces that came with the, um, the cottage. And I've got the cottage back in Fantasyland with uh, the, uh, the seven dwarfs mine train so i am now gonna i'm gonna i'm gonna get into that region over there i've got a little bit of a an area where i can squeeze up in there so i'm gonna get there and show you some of the other areas that we're gonna be working on back uh, near the haunted mansion as well so i'm gonna do that right now all right and here we are back here next to um uh, tom sawyer's island um and right in front of the uh big thunder mountain railroad and next to um, the haunted mansion so this region here is where i want to put um, some of those translucent tiles as well to really make that um, uh, area kind of pop there and we've got a lot of lighting back here when we do turn the lights on and you get a good shimmer off of that as well as around the castle the moat around the castle there as well and up in uh, the closer regions to the castle there so um, and then as we look across as I can go over towards uh, Tomorrowland here um, that the water around that area too I think it'll just add to like I said especially when the lighting is on and I just think it gives that finished look okay a lot of people have have commented about how some I've got a lot of stud work to cover up by tile. I know I do. Um, what I need to do is get more tile, and it, it's a, it's a little you know it's expensive to to work with uh, the tile tile bricks. So uh, that's why it takes a little bit of time uh, for me to get that. So let me let me show you guys the um, the parade from this angle here. We've got some Star Wars IP. Yes, that is Maleficent and the dragon, and yes, that is the uh, a Minecraft character as well. Um, I use what I have. Um, so we come around here, and we've got all those floats. I did, there are some custom floats. I have a Star Wars custom float there with Tatooine with the two um, suns there. And, um, and then down we've got a little bit further we have the haunted mansion from disneyland i made into a float and then finishing off with snow white and the um, aladdin um, mini uh, 
castle there too, which I made into a float. So a lot of the pieces that I like, I like those builds. So I purchase them and what I do is I convert them into parade floats. I've got Encanto here. I have um, Frozen, um, Doctor Strange, and we also have Avatar. And so we like to use the IPs wherever we can. And um, speaking of Avatar, when we look into um, the Jungle Cruise here in Adventureland, let me come around. I really like our Adventureland sign there. I think it turned out really good. And that's lit up at, at, in the uh, nighttime viewing as well. And we get to the Jungle Cruise here. And what I have done is I've made the, uh, that, the tree of life from Avatar. I made it into the, the tree of life from the, the Jungle Cruise, the live action Jungle Cruise, not the, the, the actual ride itself doesn't have that in there, but I wanted to, to use that IP. I thought it was a cool set and I wanted to be able to use it. So I kind of just implemented it into the, uh, the Jungle Cruise there. And I always have a lot of different IPs around. I've got obviously the Lion King, um, and I thought it fit well within the Jungle Cruise. I've got the uh, the Chase from Endor, kind of showing itself in the Jungle Cruise there, right behind the um, the back end of that uh, the airplane. And so, and then some of the classics as well. If I get around this way, you can see the the scientists uh, being chased up the uh, pole there by the rhino. And the monkey's got that Jeep turned over finally, as you see there as well. So if you guys have been on the ride, you know what I'm referring to there as well. So um, as we come around here, I also want to work with, when we talk about the tile work, I'm probably gonna use those translucents also to cover the, um, the water in Tiana's Bayou Adventure now. It was obviously Splash Mountain, and you see I've got a lot of the greenery in place. I've got a lot more greenery to do. Really around this area here, you can still see that, the old dirt per se, of that uh, burnt orange area there. And so we're gonna be working on that and getting that a little more greeneried up, even though it, it has really transformed. Um, I do have the tower up there. And that's something we are gonna be working with. We got some of the the bottles hanging um, and I'm gonna close in the back of the top as well so you're not gonna see the the sky um, cloth that I have in the background there you're not gonna see that it's and I'm also gonna put like a there's a purple hue at least from the picture so far it looks like there's a, a purple hue that comes in and the, the coloring of that I'm kind of you know I'm, I'm constantly on a holding pattern as I wait for them to complete uh, the ride as well. But I know I'm going to be working with the translucent pieces and probably up through, um, uh, the, you know, the, 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 the final fall there too. I really want to get those translucent pieces in there and get those, the stud look off of there. So and I do have some lights embedded as well underneath there. And I do have the camera right there, which blinks when, um, when I have the lights on too. So I'll be doing a, um, a video, maybe another lighting video soon, but I will put some video at the end of this um, in there um, just to give you guys some idea of what it looks like at nighttime too. So that's kind of what we're doing on this side. Um, I do want to show you guys up around um, the Haunted Mansion. Um, what I've done here is made the, um, uh, the green canopy that uh, you, the queue line that you're in. And that's some old um, Lego pieces that I knew they were out there. And then I, I, I come across them on um, BrickLink. And so I kind of ordered as many as I could to make that. And it turned out really, really good, I think. Um, some people were also asking about um, uh, Fantasyland there. I have finally gotten um, uh, the rebuild of Seven Dwarfs Mine Train. I did mills plate it. You can kind of see there, and I mills plated behind. I've just recently, if you check on some of the prior videos, just recently changed Beauty and the Beast area and the uh, Little Mermaid ride. I um, 
uh, Mills plated that back there as well. And I've got a lot of tile work to do back there, especially on that concrete um, area um, walkway. So a lot, a lot to do there. And I've got to cover up that Mills plate. You can see the Mills plate, you can see the pieces there. I've got to get rock wall around that as well. I'm also thinking about transitioning and, and moving the park in my basement to another area and redoing all the tables. That is a monumental task. So that's, uh, that's something for the future. I'm not sure what I'm doing yet with that, but um, stay tuned for those kind of changes. So let's get you some views from here. I'm gonna raise up here a little bit. And as we look down through the park here, come up to the castle. And yes, I do have the original castle. I have purchased and I have built the uh, new one. I really like the old castle. Um, and I have made it all the way around. So I have a hard time, um, you know, taking, exchanging it out for the new one. Plus this one that I've redone here is much bigger than the original um, castle that they put out because I've adapted it. So I've added um, a lot to it. So and I really like that. I do have Tinkerbell coming down the line there, all the way down to uh, Tomorrowland there like she does. And um, that kind of wraps up this area here. I'm gonna run, I'm gonna get back out front there and um, show you guys some final views here right, right now. Here we are back out front here again at the, uh, the front of the build. And uh, as we see the resort area and all the way down to the Magic Kingdom. So remember guys, um, please subscribe. Um, share with anybody that likes Lego or Disney, catch us on Instagram and TikTok. Um, I will put the information about the PhotoPass program on the video here right after. I'm gonna give you guys a little viewing uh, of the, of the uh, park lit up, um, and then I will put that information about the PhotoPass uh, behind that. So if you're interested in that, feel free to do that. Um, it, uh, it's pretty easy. Um, I, it's kind of fun and I really enjoy doing it. And if you got, please give me any comments, anything you want me to add, um, ideas, I'm always open to ideas. Um, and, uh, it's always a kid friendly channel. So don't worry about anything like that. Um, it's always, uh, kid friendly and we really appreciate you guys. And, uh, we will see you next time. Stay tuned for the lighting and the photo pass information. All right, here we are at the front of the park again. And again, like I said, we have the resort path lights on and we've, we've managed to get it all the way around the Seven Seas Lagoon there. And the next step to the lighting of the resorts are obviously getting the Contemporary Hotel, the Polynesian and the Grand Floridian lit up. We also are gonna add the um, Seven Seas um, a light parade that goes on on the water, the water parade, the water pageant, I should say. And um, so that's uh, still to come here. But I think if you guys have been with us in the past, you can tell that this has really lit up this area of the park. It really adds to the park itself. Glowing off of the contemporary there, you can see, really shows uh, the, the, the statue of that, you know, the, how big that is, the stature of that, I should say. And um, I think it's looking really good. So let's go ahead and we're gonna go right on down. Let's go to Main Street. We'll take you, as the lights are on here, may as well give you guys a good viewing of that. So as we come down Main Street and we saw the parade going on there, see the cinema there, and we can see over there. And let's zoom in on the uh, Tiana's Bayou Adventure. And we do have that tower lit up there. And it's coming along pretty good. Still waiting on some finalization down at the park itself. Uh, so we can work on that a little bit. So, all right, here is, uh, we can see back Big Thunder Mountain back there. And we see the castle.